Hey, what's going on, everybody? Back for Temporal Dimensions 2. Now, technically here, I'm starting my recording early because I am uh, just previewing the map for you guys. Apparently this was delayed, but I want to go over the nodes. I also want to go over some of the rewards that you can see in this. And it does appear that they retune the nodes based on what I saw in the JSON file, because what I saw was like basically G1718 enemies especially and, and I talked about secret defenders being on a node, which was actually this node here, which apparently is a cabal node now, and the enemies have been heavily nerfed. So secret defenders five with spider society three. This is not going to be a problem for cabal, but I did not see that in the JSON file limited to cabal. What's interesting about this map is that it looks to be two prong. So you can start either at cabal normal one down here, or I believe over here at Illuminati normal one, over on this side and eventually it's going to converge in the middle. I've never seen a design like this, which is probably why the JSON uh, file was also super weird because it had like 20, 20 something nodes because the pattern and the way that it's designed on the grid is super strange. So you're going to go through Cabal. You're going to go through, I guess there's like a mini boss or something through each of the sections. I want to kind of go over the rewards really quickly. There's some Mr. Fantastic shards here on the left hand side for Cabal. There's also some star brand in here. There's there's two diamond orbs over here. Uh, there's some I thought I saw some star brand shards somewhere. They're giving these orbs, which is hilarious, given the comp that we just received that was bugged with like 20 plus of the pin pal orbs. And they're giving it in here. Uh, I believe the yeah, there we go. Some star brand shards in there. If you still need it and you're not at seven star, uh, there's some training modules as well. And a little bit of gold on this side. Uh, we have Gwenpool for whatever reason. She duplicated twice. I don't know. Uh, you can see some more training mods, some, a little bit of gold, some blue four ions as well. And then we get towards the middle, I believe, or the, or the two middle sections anyways. And then it gets a little bit harder. G16. G16 kind of enemies. I'm thinking once you get to around here, you're probably going to want to look at G17 characters. But we're going to be doing this with the perspective of my characters who are G16. And I think Iron Man is G17 and see whether or not I can get through this. Now, I do have a Hank Pym unlocked if you watched my previous video, but I'm not going to use him unless I feel that it's absolutely necessary to make it through this. I'm going to try and do my best and make the most amount of progress in this video with just the three of them. Uh, after you get to this third one, it's Illuminati and Legendary. So at that point, you can just use whatever Legendary characters you want. It shouldn't really be, be that big of a deal. And then Illuminati and Mythic. So obviously, right, Kestrel, apocalypse super scroll those kinds of characters there's a super scroll in there which is interesting and then it finally goes to the final node up here which is cabal and illuminati so you're most likely going to want to leverage your cabal first and then include illuminati characters after again you see some of the uh, character orbs in there and then there is going to be however a dormammu and a old man logan g16 though so they cap out at g16 power level so just keep that in mind uh, this one here for the Cabal and Mythic, uh, you're fighting actually other Illuminati, including a Captain Britain, which is interesting. Uh, what I don't know here at the start of the video is whether or not Crucible effects are turned on. I think they are, uh, but we'll find out very quickly, especially once we start doing the Cabal section, or I'll maybe just do one note of the Cabal section just to verify that one, because I'm not sure how much Cabal, te uh, sorry, I'm not sure how much Crucible text there is in the three rework characters of Iron Man, Black Bolt. Actually, you'd be able to find that in the Black Bolt special. Uh, because if he hits multiple targets, then we know that the Crucible buffs are on. So this is the preview here. We're going to jump in. We're going to, I mostly want to do the Illuminati nodes though, and see how easy it is or not for my roster. I also want to let people know that the temporal health packs from last time are active as well. So you will, any of those hordes from last time is still going to be around here today. So uh, let's get into the nodes. All right, everyone, and we're off to the races. Now, I do want to kind of uh, go back a little bit on what I said in the beginning a little bit, is that it seems to be a crisscross map-ish. So I did the first four Cabal nodes. They were super easy. I just uh, auto basic it. Like, for anyone with a reasonable Cabal, it shouldn't be that big of a problem. But then after I did that section, that first line, it brings us to the Illuminati line. So I'm wondering if it just goes these four, and then back to Cabal, and then back to Illuminati, and so forth. So for this video... We are mainly going to be covering uh, the Illuminati sections and uh, my characters, like I said, 774k Iron Man is a little bit higher. I randomly pulled the one diamond. He's G17 from my Bionic Avenger days and the rest of them are at 85 G16. So the enemies are G1415 until you get towards the end. We also do have like I, I think I mentioned in the first part as well that we have those temporal health packs. So 
if you were here from the last PD and you didn't use all of those, then that'll help too. And I'm hoping that this is enough. I did, as you guys know, some from my previous video, I did unlock Hang Pim, but I want to get as far as I possibly can uh, in one day without having to use him. You know, that kind of thing, because I want to simulate what it would be like for free to play. Now, the ultimate, which is in a really low cooldown for uh, him, is really, that's really good, actually. And they get on spawn defense up from Iron Man, so that's something. I don't want to overly use my cooldowns, though, because I think that in the early nodes, they're actually going to die uh, pretty early. One thing I want to test out is, are the Crucible abilities active? And so if that's the case, this will hit a monstrosity. I just I want to find out. And it is. So Crucible, uh, okay, that's good to know. All right. Crucible effects are active. So I can tell my Discord that because they told me no. <laughs> or they didn't think it was. So it turns out, at least for the Illuminati nodes, they are. Now, what kind of impact that will have? I don't think a lot of them do have, like, outside of the new characters, Shuri and uh, Hank Pym, I don't think a lot of them actually have a lot of Crucible text. I, I, maybe I just haven't spent enough time with the free-to-play Illuminati because I just I didn't bother at this point, really. Uh, and I think the Mr. Fantastic Alt, I believe that's all game modes. So you just have to have two Illuminati members, I think, to trigger that, which we do. So early, early, uh, you know, thoughts, not too bad, but I think that you're probably looking at G16, G17 to probably clear this. Any crucible text? No, it's fine. Actually, we're gonna go this way. I think my basic, you know, let's put this back up to three. You get assists, right? Oh, we get the pings. That, that'll help, actually. You know what? The pings will help. Crucible, additional crit chance, crit damage. Spawn defense up is all game modes. That's fine. Um, you know what? I'm going to go. Oh, I don't have the special. Can I kill him? Oh, oh, we got the assist. Oh, we did get him, actually, after all. There is a lot of tech characters. Now, uh, I'm going to stun Red, Hulk, Red Skull. I don't really want to use my cooldowns, though, if I don't have to. Just need to get them low enough for Black Bolt to kind of ping it off, right? So that's kind of the hope here. They're already... Oh, my God. They're already taking some damage. Right? And I can't heal unless I change to a healer ISO. I'm not sure if the healer ISO is really necessary, though, especially with all those temporal health packs from last time. So I'm not going to. But if you were in a position for what for whatever reason you didn't have a lot, why are they putting Gwenpool on these nodes? I have no idea. So that's no two. There's a total of, I think there's like 10 Illuminati, the, the strictly just Illuminati nodes. That's where I'm concerned. Before, I think there's 10 of them. Four, four, and then over here, these first, and then this one gets a legendary, so that you can use those characters. So it's basically 10 Illuminati nodes. So I want to see, can I, how far can I get on G16? I, I guess, yes, okay, I have a G9, G17 uh, Iron Man. And, and and what what's the threshold, right, for free-to-play clearing? And uh, which of these nodes are a little bit harder? So that's the intent of this video is to basically go through the 10 Illuminati nodes because I think that's what people want to know is how hard is it and what's the expectations if you have three. If you have four, I think it's going to be really easy. If you have Hank Pym, I think it's going to be really easy because he's the support and he's going to heal everyone, right? You know, all the damage. I'm just, I'm, uh, why are they taking so many turns? What the fuck is this? What just happened? I should have AoE'd actually with the alt. What happened? That was bullshit. All right, dead, dead. I'm slowly taking damage, right? Like I don't want to. I don't want to do these things. Well, that's a fair bit of hit points actually. Ow. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. Okay. Go over here. Dead, dead, dead. Five left. Now, why does he get the taunt? I'm gonna do. You know, what? I'm gonna because I I don't want Minerva. I'm just gonna. Oh, you got the red and Minerva. That's good. Pow, pow, pow. Okay, so we're still making it through. Like we haven't had to use any heals yet, so that's that's encouraging. I think G16 is probably a safe bet. You probably with the heal packs if you're spamming it. There's also seven days. I think there's a good chance you might be able to do this at G15 for the three of them so far, right? This is only the third node, so there's still seven more to go. 
but the enemies do go up to G16, so um, I think G1685 is probably a safe bet. I think that's probably what I would suggest. Of course, it's early. We're only about seven or eight minutes into the video. And I want to see how long it takes me to clear all of these nodes. So this is Illuminati node number four. And if it does make me go back to Cabal, I'm just going to pause the video or you won't notice that, but I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to come back when we get back to the Illuminati nodes. The Cabal nodes are uh, honestly, because Cabal is a good team, right? You, you should have probably, if you were going to upgrade them, you probably would have already by now anyways. Mr. Fantastic getting his shit kicked in here. Okay. Oh, it is unavoidable. So if this is a crucible text, then that should be fine, right? It should hit everyone. Okay, that's fine. I lose my blind anyways there. Um, I'm going to go over here. Snipers hit pretty hard, actually. What is that? Glowy Lady, lady Death Strike. Okay, I'm going to have to stun her. <laughs> I don't know what, what, she, what she's doing over there, but uh, let's do let's do this adjacent target attack. I am slowly being whittled down. Hit points wise, so I could see myself needing to revive. Isn't it cheaper to heal myself rather than revive? I think it only takes 20. That's what I thought. Like a raid versus a 50 if I die. So I might just heal Mr. Fantastic and move on if I can. Let's see here. So that was, was that node three or was that node four actually? I think that was node four. That one was a little bit more challenging. I think we might be back to Cabal. Yeah, we are. Okay, so it's crisscrossing, so I'll be back. All right, and we're back for another Illuminati node here. Uh, this is node number five, and uh, it seems like I do. It doesn't matter if I die or not. I wonder if the charge now nah, I'll just I'll wait. So this is node number five on the Illuminati section. I'm just gonna heal. I thought it would have been cheaper to heal like it is in the raids when it uses only 20 packs, but apparently not. So I guess it's better just to die and wipe and, and just pay the 50 for the characters. I think you can do it twice. So like 50s, I think you can use twice and then it goes to a hundreds. So if you have as much as I do, then you could probably do about like if you spread it over a couple days, right? Like you could do it like five, six refreshes a day or something like that. You know, making sure that you're not stacking it too high. Uh, this is definitely uh, some villain tech stuff that should be good for. Well, okay, maybe not. I was gonna say I have offense down. It's not that helpful. Let's do some AOE. Can we get anyone a bit lower? Okay, that did good. That did good. That's good. Good, good. Can we hit? There we go. Yeah, Doc Ock down. Okay, that helped. Mr. Fantastic still kind of like just hanging in there, but at least Iron Man has a pretty good armor stat. I say good, but it's just like good compared to <laughs> the others, I guess. Okay, so Mr. Fantastic still, I might heal him now because he's like critical red. I mean, so I don't, so I can actually have a chance to clear in the next node. That's really where it's at. It's like, I want them to hit Iron Man because he does have the highest armor stat. I'm pretty sure uh, compared to the rest of them. He's also level 90 for me. So that was node number five. We're on node number six. So we're kind of halfway through. You know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to heal Black Bolt too. It'd be quite liberal here, but I think that if we didn't have these, because they only sent 250 in the inbox, right? I think this would be a much bigger problem. And it's weird because they overcompensated on the last temporal dimension that because this stuff carries over, you know, so for that reason, I think if you want, you know, I've, 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 this is node number six, right? And I like kind of just healed. So I think unless it gets really a pro, the 16 enemies actually on this next one. So that's a lot. That could be a problem. They are hitting me a little bit harder. What does this do? Oh, 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 oh that's not bad actually. Let's. I don't. I don't want to dodge. Let's. Uh, let's. Let's go for Mysterio. Even with an offense down, that's pretty good. I do want to flip this. I need to flip that. 
Make sure Mysterio doesn't come back to life with his clones, right? So I don't know if he's got that. Oh, Iron Man. Iron Man. I'm going to use the... Oh, I had offense down. Maybe I shouldn't have bothered. Oh, well, whatever. Mysterio minions are down. Ping. Ping. Okay. Iron Man's like pretty... Mo oh, my God. Oh, dear Lord. And they're all going first. So they get on spawn... Speed bar mechanics. That's great. Okay, I might end up dying. I think I'm gonna die here. <laughs> Unless Black Bolt gets to his ultimate, I'm gonna try that. If I if I make it to my turn, how are they getting like back to back turns? Holy crap! Okay, I'm gonna try and alt this. Okay, we got a lot of them. I think I'm still gonna die from the bleeds though. So this will be my first death from the spam of swarms that seem to take an infinite amount of turns for some reason. Oops, I hit my mic. So that was death number one. With G16, 17 characters. I think that node could be a problem for lower geared people. So that's something I would watch out here is this node here. I am 52% through though. So this is my first completely like wipe, I guess, on this node. And I'm pretty much at the end, actually. There's only a few of them left. So just something to consider. Uh, that does seem to be a problem node for undergeared players, probably. I might be able to do what I did. Like, I don't know why I got so many. Well, why do they have to add these broken characters that have like broken speed bar mechanics? Sorry, the character's not. The swarm's not broken. Like, what is this? Back to back turns. How is that even happening? Hey, there we go. And of course, so let's just go right in with the special. Didn't even do enough damage. Okay, we're gonna get hit by the all. Cool. We're gonna get trauma. That actually uh, did a fair bit of damage, and now we're gonna get stuck behind Lizard. Of course we are, right? I might die again. <laughs> oh my god. I can just use the basic. Can I hit? Can I get? Him into red? That might do something. Oh, they got death proof. Oh, great. That's fun. Okay. Well, Lizard's dead. I think I'm going to die again. Iron Man died. Okay, cool. So this node is pretty hard, actually. I just died again. Twice on the same node. Okay. All right, I'm just going to come back and clear that, and we're going to start the next one. I think it's pretty obvious that I'm going to be able to clear this when I revive. All right, we're here on node number seven. Node number seven here. And uh, we, you know, actually Iron Man took about half of his hit points against Green Goblin. On that last, on the last bit there when I went back in, because he got hit. So it's, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's going to be tough for people who are like G15, I think. I've fully healed. I've wiped twice, and then I healed Mr. Fantastic once. Oh, we do have a Thor Infinity War. Interesting. However, it puts him right in my st the st stupid... He's doing nothing. What is going on here? He's literally... All he's doing is put making an annoying spot where I get hit by adjacent targets, like like AoE attacks, because I had my character... I Fuck. I had my character spread out where it wouldn't really do anything. Good God. Okay, well, can we... Okay, all right. They're so slow. Seriously, they're so... Can we kill them? They're so slow. Follow a tap striker? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thor did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Maybe bad RNG. I don't know. Use that alt. Get a ping. The ping. Ping, 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 ping. Iron Man taking a fair bit of added damage here. Iron Man's actually not doing too, too bad, and the, the spawn defense up helps, even though I think it got cleared. 8 out of 13 with a Spider Weaver. Two Spider Weavers. Fuck. Okay, that's fine, and I'm slowed. I'm probably going to die here again. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to wipe. I'm going to get hit by uh, the... Yeah, they're going to get charges. Five charges, because the Crucible buffs are active. That's fun. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Part of me wants to raise Hank Pym now. Because he's support and would probably cleanse me or do all sorts of other shit that'll help me get through this. But I'm going to struggle. Why? Because 
I don't know. So each time I do that, at least it blows the, the charges on them. But they're so slow. And I'm slowed. The speed on these characters are so bad. I, I don't even... How did I come back to life? Was that glitched? I'm not sure what I just saw there. But I need to hit them. Any, I, 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 well, maybe not hit them, actually. No, they're all Tangled Web, actually. It doesn't fucking matter anyways, except for those two. Why are there two America Chavez's or one? No, there's two. Why are there two America? Ch Why is America Chavez even here? Bus hero brawlers Two. Okay, two charges left. So I, I basically got fucked because they're so slow that with slow that they're, they literally have less than 50 speed. I managed to get them down to two charges, but they took so many turns that I'm just concerned that it's just going to be a. If I end up having to re refresh like two or three more times and I can't get through this, that's probably where I'm going to gear Hank Pym uh, and where I'm going to abandon this this attempt. This node, we're not even that's we're not even there yet. We got like four more regular Illuminati nodes. This one is this note. This wave is quite a bitch. Somehow we're still at 50 refreshes. This is my third wipe, so it must go to 100 after this one. So I've consumed 500 temporal health packs to this point on day one. It does last for seven days, but it does mean that you would need to clear this within three. I, I think you still have to wait 24 hours or maybe not. Maybe you only have to wait one hour, actually, since the, since the Dark Dimension changes. Two charges. Oh, wait, we have Thor back now again. So that might help me like clear charges. But good God, he was awful. He did absolutely nothing. Uh, does that? Oh, he actually killed the charges, I think, with that. So that's helpful. Now he's dead again. <laughs> I need to do Iron Man's special because it's like, do I have it? Okay, we need to stun you. Stun one of them, right? Like, they need to go. And I'm uh, I'm just going to use the special. That did a fair bit of damage. Okay. And then I'm going to use the special here, too. Okay, cool. We got it. That wasn't that bad. It was bad, but we got through it with a refresh. All right. This is this is like challenge mode a little bit with just using the three characters because I want to see like, can we do it right? And then goes through revive once. Great. I forgot about that with Black Bolt. It's been a while since I've used him. There we are. So that was node number seven coming up on node number eight, nine. There's three more left now. Nodes 11 and 10, those kind of things. You can use other characters, so I really don't think they're going to be a challenge at that point. It's only these strict Illuminati nodes. These three here, because right after that, it's Illuminati and Legendary, frankly. Shouldn't be that hard. Tons of characters to choose from. Old Man Logan. <laughs> like, you're just going to roll through it like any hero characters or. Anyone, really. Legendary, I mean. Green Goblin and, 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 and Doc Ock together, probably, also. Like, it shouldn't be that hard. I might just use that. Just see if we can... I don't think I'll end up recording those notes, to be honest. It'll be too easy. I won't, won't really need to. But it's just the... Who, who the fuck is this? Regular Doctor Strange? And he's dead already! What's the point of these NPCs? This is unavoidable, right? Yes, it is. In Crucible. Yes. Cool. Didn't do as much damage as I hoped, but hey, it's something. Can we kill him? No, oh, we did not. That's okay. Mm, I'm going to use the ult. It's on a long cooldown, though. And Vision dodged it. Thanks. Ooh, oh, so close. So close. There goes my buffs. Oh, actually, I resisted some of that. Over here this time. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Let's just finish off Deathlock and then go for Viv. There we go. Port of eight. Doing well on this node. This was a lot easier than the other one. Kang. That's fun. Uh, we can clear that, right? Okay. Striker follow up. We need to. Can we do anything about him? Nope. He's going to mess me up. Maybe. Oh, boy. Can we stun him? We're like on Death's door. Oh, we got it with Iron Man, but I'm probably going to die here. Yeah, I'm going to die here. 
All right. All right, I'm going to so I'm going to revive myself. I'm going to skip because you don't want to see this. It's just two enemies, right? It should be no problem. And then we're going to jump to uh, the next section. OK, and we're back to another Illuminati node number nine. We did clear all of the Cabal special nodes. That was no problem. Again, no Cabal footage in this video just because they're super easy. Like I could have probably auto basic. That being said, I do have a G18 Cabal. I think there's been enough time, though, between uh, the first pocket dimension, the old man Logan trial. There's been lots of opportunities for you to build the three characters of the Cabal. So if that's that, that should not be your problem. So I am apolo I apologize if you know that's not what you can't wanted to see. Also, it seems we have a Ghost Rider Robbie, which I just noticed actually in this node. Now we do have Crucible buffs active though, <clears throat> so well, that did get some good damage actually. Wow. Uh, we're getting close to the end. Like these are the last two nodes, so I'm just gonna use some of my cooldowns. I think. There, get that red red goblin. Red goblin is bad. No point saving cooldowns for Robbie because he's an NPC. Oh, Void Knight, huh? Good thing I killed Red Goblin when I did because he dropped down after. Uh, I'm gonna get hit by an ability block, aren't I? Why did Gwenum take two turns? Did I go into the. Oh, I just went into the red. Hmm. Okay, Robbie's dead. This might be another revive match. Uh, I have offense down, so I'm not gonna use the special, but we might. Ooh, we got Carnage. Okay. It's a start. Ooh, we might get Gwenna. Uh, maybe. Here we got Gwenna. Okay. Cool. Maybe. I don't know. Is is Void Knight going to solo us? I don't think so. But let's go for him next. Defense down. Ooh, we got him. We got him. So this isn't. This is pretty. Okay. I, mean, I don't want to say it's easy. Because I do have a G17, but if you're willing to raise your uh, your free to play Illuminati to a decent level, I would say G16 would be safe just to not like rack your brain too much. Uh, I don't know why I said that. Like not to have too much of a headache. I think a G15, there you might be able to do it. Like I can't verify that because I'm not doing this at G15. This is the last regular Illuminati nodes and then the rest is off to the races honestly i'm just gonna heal again the weird thing is that it seems that i can heal them at 50 uh but my revives are costing 75 because if you remember the last time i wiped it, it was costing me 75 to revive them again so i guess heals are on a different cooldown as the revives and i did not use anywhere near as many of my resources as i thought i would need so yeah if you have like 5000 healbacks you probably could do it at g15 i think though because we're going to be using them free to play for the next legendary you're probably going to want to take them to g16 anyways that's just my thoughts anyways this is undying and i have not made a turn yet okay cool i forgot cuz illuminati is just slow as fuck um I'm actually going to go over here and stun Deathpool. Why do they have like red glowy shit? I need to kill Hella, otherwise she keep. Oh, okay. We just like, okay. I didn't think that was going to happen. Now, I don't know if there's another Hella. I didn't check. Um, So I'm going to, oh, there we go. Okay, cool. That's a thing. Okay. So far, so good. Death pull down. Oh, there we go. We got some black order. Is there a black order? A full black order. Okay, that's going to be fine. I might wipe here. Yeah, I might wipe here. Yeah, I'm going to lose black roll. Yeah, I think I'm going to wipe. Okay, so one more wipe. So that's the third or fourth wipe that I've had. I'm just going to let him do his ult, right? Do whatever he needs to do. Blow these cooldowns and we'll come back in. It's fine. How did he get four turns of safeguard? How the fuck did that happen? How on earth does Call Obsidian get four safeguard turns? How is that even a thing? All right, he flipped. That's fine. Right, he's not going to have that next time. We're just going to, we're going to die. 
Okay, we're gonna. Is he gonna alt? Are we gonna get the alt from Thanos? Oh, hero protector. Oh, the hero controller. We got the barrier. All right, we're gonna come back in. Okay, and we're back in here. We took a few hits when we first came in. Actually, I forgot to hit record as I was loading in. Uh, and so I think we're just gonna. This is the last one, right? So we're just gonna blow whatever cooldowns we have here and uh, do that. So we get the alt. Uh, we killed. Who was that? Uh, Corvus? Oh, he got the stones again. Forgot that happens. He got like free buffs, but why did it come? Oh, because he didn't take his turn right away, really? All right. Okay. Proxima's dead. Okay, let's just finish him off. This is the last. We still need to use the Illuminati, but it's just like not real. Oh, shit. Black Bolt's gonna die. Oops. We're gonna have to revive Black Bolt again, but we managed to do this all within like one day, which is good. Um, so that's not a problem. So Black Bolt died. Okay, there's some blue four or five ions which can go towards my. Oh wait, wrong account. I was gonna say this could go towards Apocalypse, but hey, I'll take some more blue fives anyways on my main account. And this takes us to those nodes, those special nodes here, which have Legendary and Mythic. This one's not going to be a big problem, but I think you have to use them. Do I have to use them, actually? Can I Can I not? Can I just entirely not use them? Wow. Okay, I didn't even need to use them. That's hilarious. You don't even have to use the Illuminati characters. So you just need to get those first 10 nodes down. So I think, for the purposes of this, I think that's more or less done. Uh, we're going to wait and see at the end, though. See if there's any hiccups, and we're going to do review after this. On the second to last node, and uh, the second to last node is going to be insanely easy. Uh, hopefully you have a handful of mythic characters. I'm not even going to bother to record this one. I just wanted to laugh a little bit at how crazy this is. Now, I do want to give the last node its proper due, but I do want to bring up again how hilarious it is that they're essentially rewarding us with three, I think, of each of these Illuminati orbs when we got 20 plus for free. 30, I suppose, if you count yesterday, of these Pim Pal orbs. So, uh, this is what we got. Cabal and Illuminati. Okay, so I might actually need to revive somebody. We're, we're Well, maybe not. Actually, we're just going to go in with... Uh, well, she's Mr. Fantastic. So, this is my three Cabal. Obviously, Cabal makes sense. Forgot that you actually have to use these characters. And they have to be a gear tier 15. So, yeah. Bare minimum, we need to clear this because you have to. Would be gear tier 15. But you probably want G16 just to make it a little bit easier on yourself. Or not. It's entirely up to you. You can get through it at G15. That's fine. Uh, this final node does have Old Man Logan. I think if you... It's going to be really easy for me, I think, because my Cabal are like G18. If I didn't, it might be a bit more challenging. There's Old Man Logan and like some other big names on this as well. So I just wanted to play this last this last node here for you guys, just in case a stage completed. Oh, this has like a, like a controller character. There's a Proxima Midnight and a Thanos. I don't know what the, oh, I have to stop them from doing something. Is that what it is? Oh, okay. They just like fell over. <laughs> okay. They just fell over. I don't know how many enemies are actually on the node. A lot of fucking Captain America's. That's what. All right. And then we'll, Okay, they just fall right over. So some nodes are just way harder than others. Right? Like some of the ones that I wiped on, specifically. This is a joke. Absolute joke. Some of the creators are going to be really mad. It's too easy. I'm actually happy for the... I'm happy for free-to-play players that it's not... that they retuned it down. Thank you. Thank you, Scopely, for maybe hearing one of my one or two of my videos about uh, how bad this looked. I think they definitely nerfed it. Did they nerf it too far for some people? Maybe. Maybe. Was I too concerned? Maybe. But I also feel like had I not said any of those things that how do we know that this wouldn't have been like it may have been really bad. We don't really know, I guess. How many fucking Captain Carters and Captain Americas are on this? Like, I feel like I'm just. OK, is there more? Where where is five turns of safeguard? Where did that come from? Oh, wow. OK, he's harder. 
Where are all these abate? Where, where, how do you get all these spawn buffs? They're like fake. Fake buffs. Fake news. I mean, just. Okay, that, that was fine. The Cabal just like kicked his ass. Okay, is this the final? Oh, there's Black Knight with charges. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Cosmic Ghost Rider? No, okay, you're, you're dead too. Starbrand's done? Cool. I even have a Black Order Ultimate, but I'm just not going to use it yet. I think there's an Old Man Logan somewhere around here. Just waiting for him to pop out. Old Man Logan, next wave. Uh, here we go. Marks for money. Uh, and a si oh, what the fuck is this? A 10 defense up. 10. What the fuck is that? 10 immunity and 6 evade Dormammu. Where did that come from? And then they just spawn in and get free turns. They're like one by one getting free turns as they drop in. I've never seen that before. They just... Let's... Oh, right. So many dodges. Oh, fuck. Well... Good thing my Cabal... There we go. 10 turns... I flip that? That was now there we go. Now he's got disrupt, so that's fine. Old man Logan. With he's gonna get oh he's gonna get oh what the oh fucking Dokken comes in with the, the cleave. Oh shit. And old man Logan's gonna get his uh re revive once. Right, so that's fun. You know, we're gonna go with the special over here. Oh, wow, he just killed him. Okay, so his hit points is pretty low, so we should just be able to get him then. It wasn't as bad as I thought. What? The uh, fuck? Okay, so what I was told is that we need to kill Dormammu last. All right, so. Let's see if that happens again. Apparently I wasn't reading my Discord, and hopefully it's cleared. So for those of you who are wondering how to get through this, there we go. Don't, or make sure you kill Dormammu last. So we get two more. So, okay, so that's, that's five? Four. Four Queen's Entourage orbs and four Pym's Pal orbs times two. Eight. Some gold. I did get some gold. And some diamond orbs. I got quite a few of those, actually. Maybe five, seven, maybe? Seven diamond orbs, actually. Some red uniques, which are... I don't really need many of them, but it's still welcome anyways. Three quantum energy, I'll take it. Uh, and a variety of minis. So that's the first round. Actually, I really need health catalysts. So it wasn't too bad. If you have G16, it probably will be fine. Uh, G15 is the minimum required to get through this, though, because the nodes actually require it later down the line. And uh, that's going to be a wrap for Pocket Dimension or Temporal Dimension, whatever. Uh, it's not as bad as, as I saw it to be, but I'm glad that it seemed that they retuned the nodes. So I'm happy about that. Uh, so this should be okay for people who want to get through this. You have seven days, of course, uh, but make sure that you do clear one run within three days because I think there's a timer. I uh, just want to double check here. I think you might have to wait one day. That's what I was being told on Discord. So I just want to verify really quickly here before we end the video. Otherwise, I hope uh, that people get through those. There's a couple of problem nodes as we went through this, of course. Recess in 24 hours. So yeah, make sure that you clear the first run within uh, 72 hours so that it gives you time for that 24-hour gap. All right, that's it for me now today. Uh, let's see what else breaks later on this week. Oil on, signing out.